It is a curious thought, but it is only when you see people looking ridiculous that you realize just how much you love them. Very few of us are what we seem. The impossible could not have happened, therefore the impossible must be possible in spite of appearances. An archaeologist is the best husband a woman can have. The older she gets, the more interested he is in her. If you place your head in a lion's mouth, then you cannot complain one day if he happens to bite it off. The best time for planning a book is while you're doing the dishes. One doesn't recognize the really important moments in one's life until it's too late. Never do anything yourself that others can do for you. Instinct is a marvelous thing. It can neither be explained nor ignored. You gave too much rain to your imagination. Imagination is a good servant, and a bad master. The simplest explanation is always the most likely. It is a really hard life. Men will not be nice to you if you are not good looking, and women will not be nice to you if you are. Never tell all you know, not even to the person you know best. One of the saddest things in life, is the things one remembers. The young people think the old people are fools, but the old people know the young people are fools. Time is the best killer. Good advice is always certain to be ignored, but that's no reason not to give it. I know there's a proverb which that says to err is human, but a human error is nothing to what a computer can do if it tries. I don't think necessity is the mother of invention. Invention arises directly from idleness, possibly also from laziness. To save oneself trouble. The truth, however ugly in itself, is always curious and beautiful to seekers after it. To every problem, there is a most simple solution. I do not argue with obstinate men. I act in spite of them. Everything must be taken into account. If the fact will not fit the theory, let the theory go. In the midst of life, we are in death. Words, madmo eyes, are only the outer clothing of ideas. Every murderer is probably somebody's old friend. One is left with a horrible feeling now that war settles nothing, that to win a war is as disastrous as to lose one. It's like all those quiet people, when they do lose their tempers they lose them with a vengeance. An appreciative listener is always stimulating. It is completely unimportant. That is why it is so interesting. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. When you find that people are not telling you the truth, look out. Words are such uncertain things, they so often sound well but mean the opposite of what one thinks they do. One of the luckiest things that can happen to you in life is to have a happy childhood. At my time of life, one knows that the worst is usually true. Many homicidal lunatics are very quiet, unassuming people. Delightful fellows. To rush into explanations is always a sign of weakness. I always think loyalty is such a tiresome virtue. 
What good is money if it can't buy happiness? The happy people are failures because they are on such good terms with themselves they don't give a damn. A woman who doesn't lie is a woman without imagination and without sympathy. People should be interested in books, not their authors. You should employ your little gray cells. One of us in this very room is in fact the murderer. Elephants can remember, but we are human beings and mercifully human beings can forget. A great many men are mad, and no one knows it. They do not know it themselves. It's what's in yourself that makes you happy or unhappy. Fear is incomplete knowledge. People who can be very good can be very bad too. Unless you are good at guessing, it is not much use being a detective. Evil is not any superhuman, but it is human. It's so much nicer to be a secret and delightful sin to anybody than to be a feather in his cap. Our weapon is our knowledge. But remember, it may be a knowledge we may not know that we possess. Courage is the resolution to face the unforeseen. You have a tendency, Hastings, to prefer the least likely. That, no doubt, is from reading too many detective stories.